Father, today I want to take this time to pray for all Jewish lambs. Father God, during this time of Passover season, Heavenly Father God, and all the Jewish lambs that are being persecuted through any modern day slavery program everywhere in this world, everywhere in America and in Canada, Heavenly Father. The Lord Father God, I lift up all the Jewish people up to you the and Lord the persecuted lambs up to on you, Father God, everywhere in the world. And I ask that you to cover every single one of them with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. With the blood of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ's name, we will cover their spirit, souls, and bodies the Lord and lives with the blood of Jesus Christ, their health, their minds, their personalities, their wills, their intellects. With the blood of Jesus Christ and the work of their hands, Father God, and gifts and talents and callings and destinies that you have for them, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, I ask that you will also release your angels, Father God, your guardian angels to protect all Jewish lambs and all Jewish people during this time of the Passover season. Father God, that's coming up, Father God, in three days or so, Father God. And I just really pray, Heavenly Father God, that you will send your guardian angels to protect all the Jewish people and the Jewish lambs, Father God, from all evil danger and harm and from evil predators and evil spirited people, Heavenly Father God in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will also protect all the Jewish lambs that are traveling, Father God, to visit their loved ones and family members and friends, Father God, and significant others, Father God, in any type of traveling vehicles or airplanes or cars, that you will give them traveling mercies and that you will send your angels to encounter all the Jewish people and the Jewish lambs that are traveling everywhere, Father God, where they, in their destinations, that you will cause them to get to their destinations safely, going to and fro, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you'll protect them from any type of injuries and freak auto accidents and airplane crashes and delays and and setbacks, Father God, and injuries, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and hijackings and thefts and all types of danger, Father God, and from car thefts or any type of harm, Father God, from evil predators, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. And I ask that you will cover all the travel travels, Father God, that all the Jewish people, Jewish lambs are traveling, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, whatever uh, type of transportation that they choose to take, Father God, that you would just cover all those vehicles, the airplanes and buses and and bicycles and have on foot or whatever. Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. Precious uh, Jewish lambs out there, I just want to say happy uh, Passover. And today I want to just pray a wonderful uh, prayer for you wonderful Jewish lambs out there everywhere in the world. Everywhere in America and everywhere in Canada. I want to pray for all you wonderful lambs out there, you Jewish lambs out there doing this Passover season. And I do wish you a very blessed, happy Passover season. And the song that you just heard is called Ironic Blessing. Ironic Blessing by Bought with a Price by Greg Wilson. So you can, if you're interested in listening to his type of music, which I will be playing his music throughout this episode from time to time, you can purchase it or hear it uh, at bandcamp.com. So he has very much a big variety of different types of music um, with the messianic um, worship and praise. Uh, from a Jewish uh, perspective. So anyway, precious lambs, 
Jewish lambs. I just want to say hello and I hope things are going well with you as you wonderful Jewish lambs prepare for Passover, the eight day festivity uh, holiday season. And um, I'm going to pray for you um, and I'm going to pray some scriptures. So I'm going to pray a little other prayer real quick before I do the scriptures. Um, Help me, Father God, I pray for all the Jewish lambs out there that are preparing for the Passover season holiday, Father God, that you would just strengthen them with your power and your might, Father God, as they do all the preparations and cooking and cleaning and and gathering their loved ones and family members and just organizing things and events, Father God, and get-togethers, social get-togethers, family get-togethers, and all types of stuff that they have to do before uh, Passover comes, Father God. And for all the ones that are rushed, Father God, you know, I pray that you would just bless them during this time with their loved ones and family members, Father God, and that everything will go well between them and their loved ones and family members, Father God. And that there won't be any type of strife or arguments, Father God, you know, that leads to fights or whatever, Father God, or very something drastic or brash or whatever. Father God, I pray that you will cover all the Jewish families with the blood of Jesus Christ during their celebration time of Passover. Heavenly Father God, for the eight days, and even after the eight days, Father, that you will strengthen all the ones that are preparing, still preparing things for the holiday, the Passover holiday, Father God. And I pray that you would just strengthen them with your mighty power and your anointing, Father God, and your strength, Heavenly Father God, to accomplish everything that they need to accomplish for their preparations and their get-togethers and social gatherings, Father God, and for their homes and cars and travels and, and foods and preparations and everything like that, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that all the Jewish families, when they get together, they will have fun and enjoy each other more and more this year, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. So anyway, Father God, I pray, Heavenly Father God, that all the wonderful Jewish lambs with their families will have a great time of festivities and celebrations and getting closer to each other and be closer to each other than they were last year, Father God, and will um, enjoy each other sincerely and respect each other and be kind to each other and love one another. So sincerely, Father God, and forgive one another as necessary, Father God, and that they won't carry any resentment or unforgiveness toward one another, Father God, that there won't be no room for unforgiveness or bitterness or resentment among the family gatherings or any type of social gatherings that any of the Jewish lambs and their families attend, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, and I pray, Father God, that you release your kindness, your kindness, your blessings, your favor, your peace, your joy, Father God, contentment, serenity upon all the Jewish lambs, Father God, and their family members, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and even upon all the Jewish lambs that are isolated, that do not have any family members, Father God, they have relatives that they don't have family, and where they have no friends. I pray for the isolated Jewish lambs as well, Father God, and the Jewish lambs that are single, that that have any friends and they're feeling very lonely or whatever. I pray that you will comfort them on every side, Father God, and release your angels to comfort them on every side and your ministering angels to minister unto them, Heavenly Father, during this time season of Passover, day and night, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father God, I just really pray, Heavenly Father God, that, um, that, um, 
Their social gatherings will be a success as far as the festivities and them spending um, time, quality time with themselves and with you, Father God, with you who they trust in, Father God, you, Father God, and that they will get closer to you and closer to Yeshua Hamashima, Father God, Yeshua Hamashima, just to say that more clear. Uh, Father God, and I just pray, Heavenly Father God, that everything will go um, according to what plan, you know, if possible, Father God. And I just pray, Father God, that you will surround all the Jewish lambs with your joy and your peace, Father God, and with um, contentment, a peace of mind. Father God, and that you would just heal any of the Jewish lambs that are sick in their bodies or are tired or that are afflicted in their souls, Father God, because of breakups or situations in their lives that have kept them puzzled or made them sad or whatever, or because of any persecutions that any of the Jewish lambs are going through through any modern day slavery program, Heavenly Father. So I pray, Heavenly Father God, that you will comfort those lambs and heal them in their souls for the ones that need to be healed in their souls and their emotions and to heal them in their bodies, Father God, for the ones that need to be healed in their bodies. And I pray, Father, that you release healing upon them, wholeness upon all the Jewish lambs, your healing power and your anointing upon them to heal their bodies and their souls and their minds, their personalities, Father God, their wills, in Jesus Christ's name. And I also pray that you release your anointing to heal their pocketbooks, Father God, from any type of poverty or debt or lack or shortage of me, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you restore everything that the enemy has stolen from any of the Jewish lambs everywhere in the world, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, because you are the God, Father God, the God of restoration, Father God, and you are their Lord and their shepherd, Father God, that they shall not want you are the Lord and shepherd, that they shall not want them. All the lambs out there, the persecuted Jewish lambs, shall want Father God, they shall not want because you are providing for them. Father God, you are the Lord they shepherd. Jehovah Ra, Father God, that they shall not want, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I give you glory and honor to you for what you're doing with all the Jewish lambs out there. And Father God, I pray that you will give the Jewish lambs the strength to go through the holidays of Passover. The eight days of eating masa, masa, if I'm pronouncing it right, sorry, all Jewish people, if I didn't pronounce this word right or whatever, um, anyway, I tried, um, or anything that they get tired of eating that they have to eat all the time, you know, for eight days and they have to turn off the electronics and all that kind of stuff. And have quiet time, which is good to turn off the electronics and get a break from the electronics. And and they don't work, so that's even good, too. Because sometimes we need a break from working so much, Father God, and spend time with ourselves, spend time with you, Father God, and time with our loved ones, Father God. So anyway, Father God, I thank you for helping all the Jewish lambs out there to reflect upon you and what Yeshua Hamashima has done for them what you Father God Jehovah Yah has done for them as people because you love the Jewish people Father God you love the Jewish lambs unconditionally everlastingly Father God and genuinely Father God and I just thank you and I praise you for extending your love and favor upon all the Jewish lambs and the Jewish people everywhere in this world Father God in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I thank you that these prayers are done, and I ask that you will seal and cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. Now, I'm going to 
pray Psalm 23 over all you wonderful Jewish lambs. In a few minutes, I thought I had it on Psalm 23, but then it was on Job 23. But now I'm turning it on Psalm 23, I think my